and welcome to the book smoke today i will be doing a non-spoiler review of after the end by amy plum so this book tells the story of a girl called juno and she has always grown up believing that the world was destroyed in world war three in uh, 1983 i think um and so she lives in a part of the world called denali um where it she lives in the civilization where um she believes it's only them that have survived the the war um but there are enemies um who take the form of um like authorities in helicopters that um pass by denali her hometown all the time and she calls them brigands um, and she believes they are the enemy and one day she is sent by her mentor um to go out and hunt for food because they're um they're getting low on food so she goes out hunting and by the time she gets back to denali all of her clan are gone everybody is gone and the place is left in a total mess and it's a disaster um and before before she went off hunting for food um her mentor wit um went off um on this secret mission um and she believes he is hiding in a cave in the mountains so she goes off on a sledge with um some huskies i think they are or some kind of dog so she goes off to try and find wit um but while she is out exploring she comes across um a city that's alive and thriving and everything and she's confused and this throws everything into um disarray for her and she soon discovers that the world was not destroyed and everybody is fine and everything in the world is fine um that is not a spoiler that is the main part of the story so don't worry that's not a spoiler um in fact even on the back it says this is not a post-apocalyptic wasteland where am i what is going on so it's not a spoiler uh, but anyway and then we also have the perspective of a boy called miles who has been kicked out of school um for cheating on a test and he wants to try and prove himself to his dad after failing at his exams um and his dad works for a pharmaceutical company um and they believe that juno um holds the key to everlasting life they believe that she's taken some kind of drug so that she doesn't age um when the reality is people from denali people of juno's clan don't age and they don't um become ill i mean they break bones and they get injured but they don't get ill um, they don't get illnesses they don't get diseases um yeah and basically juno and miles meet because miles wants to prove himself to his dad um and his dad's company are after juno because they believe she's taken this drug and because his dad works for a pharmaceutical company he believes that if he tracks down and finds juno that they will find this drug and it will make them rich um so uh miles takes it upon himself to go out and look for juno um and Juno takes it upon herself to explore the world that hasn't been destroyed. And, you know, everything's new to her and unreal and bizarre. Um, and I really like that aspect. Um, I will say, uh, for the most part, I didn't get into this book until she finds out the world has not been destroyed. Which is probably about 50 pages in. I kind of struggled a little bit. Um, and also towards the end, the last hundred pages were really slow for me. Um, the last hundred pages are her and Miles um, figuring everything out and figuring out why her clan has been taken and how and who by and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, the ending was a bit slow for me and so was the beginning. But the rest of the book is absolutely brilliant. Um... I mean, that's really all I can say for now without giving away spoilers. And like I said, this is a spoiler-free review. Um, but just know that I really, really, really like this book. 
I gave it a four out of five stars. Um, it's a duology, the sequel until the beginning is coming out in March, I think, or April. Um, and I really want to get that and find out what happens after because there's a big, big clash cliffhanger at the end of this book. Um, yeah, and I really, really enjoyed this book. I really like Amy Plum's writing style. This is the first thing I've read by her. Um, I'm not interested in the Die For Me books. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy Amy Plum's writing style. And I think Until the Beginning is going to be a really good book. And I've heard it's going to be really big. I've heard it's over 500 pages. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. But like I said, I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, if you want to know any more, don't hesitate to ask. Um, and yes, I will leave a link to um, a more in-depth review on Toast Pop in the description box. You can go and check that out for more in-depth. Um, still spoiler free, but uh, yeah, I'll just go into more detail um, than I do here. So yeah, that's After the End by Amy Plum. Four out of five stars. So yes, that's it for me. Uh, from me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wish, you may subscribe. And like I said, don't forget to check out my in-depth review on Toast Pop. And I'll leave the link in the description box. And I will see you again soon. Goodbye.